Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Hamza Youssef has once again opened his mouth and let the stupid tumble out. This time, this particular stupid is his insistence that the Westminster Parliament represents a foreign government. The man is a moron, and we'll discuss why he's a moron when we have a look at this article. I honestly wonder for his sanity. Anyway, here we go. Right, so I saw this uh, in the Herald yesterday. I filed it away. I thought I must do the story on this. I, I didn't get time yesterday, but I made a point of coming back to this today uh, because this guy is a complete moron. Yousaf <laughs> says Scotland is subjected to foreign government at Westminster. Honestly, I mean, I presume then he, he doesn't want the Barnet formula money. Is that what he's saying? The moment he becomes leader of the SNP, he'll reject all that foreign government money. Is that what's going to happen? Probably not, because he couldn't exist without this foreign government and those foreign taxpayers paying all that tax in for the Barnet formula. Uh, and also, presumably, he would pull immediately upon leader being a leader, he'd pull all the, uh, the SNP MPs out of Westminster. Uh, don't need them down there, you know, as they sit there fighting for Scottish um, interests in Parliament, that, that foreign that foreign government that he sees. So he obviously wouldn't want the SNP MPs there. Pull them back. And that'll give the Tories a massive, probably unassailable uh, majority in uh, in Parliament. Uh, and so he'd end up probably, um, well, effectively giving the Tories um, a forever government um, because England is predominantly Tory. Um, but, you know, he, this is the stupidity of the man. Um, words fail me, actually. Actually, I... I, I I was going to actually describe him in a certain way, but if, if I described him how I want to describe him, uh, I'd be banned off YouTube for a long time. So I'll tell you what, good viewers, down in the comments, you put what you would describe this man as, and I'll award points for the most um, the most flourished title. You know, if you can come up with something poetic and wonderful, uh, I will award a bonus point for it, uh, you know, just for a laugh. Nothing, nothing serious, just a bit of fun. But let's see if we can come up with the most wonderful, flowery and colourful description of that moron. Anyway, Hamza Youssef has been branded crass and ignorant and stupid for saying Scotland is subjected to foreign government at Westminster in the final SNP leadership hustings. The health secretary, the very bad health secretary, also argued with members of the audience which is never good when you're trying to tell people that you're the choice they should make. Uh, anyway, at the Times Radio event, telling them you can shout all you want when heckled over gender reform. So he's saying, you can shout all you want because I'm not going to listen to you. I'm gonna, I want you to vote for me as your leader, but I refuse to listen to you. This guy is losing votes left, right and centre. Uh, Mr Youssef made the comment after the candidates discussed the UK government's Section 35 order uh, blocking Hollywood's gender recognition reform bill, much to the relief of all the women and most of the men in Scotland. After initially saying his plan to challenge that veto in court was unequivocal, unequivocal even, I can't read, uh, he then rode back when pressed on whether he would proceed if the government's legal advice was that a challenge was doomed, saying it would only go if there was a case to, to go to, uh, his argument would be. Uh, although he just said he was unequivocal about it. So he's not unequivocal. This is more bullshit and lies coming from a lying bullshitter. It's no wonder uh, he's not going to win. It's no wonder he is seen as basically a joke. He said, if we were independent, we would not have foreign government, for example, coming in and vetoing our legislation. Uh, the foreign government, like I say, that the MS, uh, the, the, the SNP sits in and represents the interests of Scotland at. Hardly foreign. And if that's the case, I take it he won't be joining the EU, where he would then send Scot the Scottish national politicians to Europe that will then impose laws on Scotland, because he doesn't want that foreign government controlling his nation. It gets dumber and dumber. I actually watch, I watch this man over the course of the last few weeks. I've actually watched him get stupider. Every time he opens his mouth, I think he can't possibly be more stupid than he is now. And lo and behold, lo and behold, he breaks even that record. And every time I just see this man getting nearer and nearer to the level of a mushroom. Uh, anyway, the Scottish Tories called it crass and ignorant. 
uh, about this, this comment and a worrying insight into how Mr Yousaf would govern Scotland if he became First Minister. Insular, he would not have any negotiations with his foreign partners, uh, but it would immediately do the exact opposite to what he's saying is the problem here. A few minutes earlier, Mr Yousaf has said he would raise the tone of political debate as First Minister. Well, you haven't yet and you've given no indication that you can raise the tone because all you can do is spout hatred and division. You're an idiot. Uh, asked by an audience member how to heal divisions in Scottish society, the Glasgow MSP said, when you have a new leader in place, that gives you the opportunity to set the tone from day one. Well, in his case, if he was leader, you would have a leader that was a liar, a criminal, a man who hated white people, uh, a man who hated English people, a man who would want not only to make this, the economy of Scotland worse for its own people, but would then want to hand out the powers so hardly won for, so fought for for a hundred years, straight over to foreign governments. Why would you vote for this man? What possessed anyone to vote for this man? If this man doesn't come last, then there are people in Scotland with an SNP voting card who are morons. Uh, anyway, one of the first meetings he said I would like to have on day one is with all the leaders in the political opposition, not just those that I have a close alignment with, i.e. the Greens, but actually all those leaders to see where we can put our heads together. Nobody would want to work with you. They listen to the words you say and they would run a mile rather than sit at a table with you. He says, where can we find common solutions in the national interest? Well, if you want a common solution that is completely in the national interest, then all the other parties in Scotland need to get up sort their act out and say we are the not SNP alliance we will take back control and we will do something that will fix the mess that Scotland has made of every single area of its responsibility because not one thing in Scotland works thanks to the SNP. Uh, he then said I think if you do that as a leader then hopefully it flows through not just the rest of the parliamentarians but I would hope it sets the tone for how we want to do public discourse in society more widely says the man who's just shouted at the audience. That's how he wants to do his public discourse, shouting people down and not listening to people who have an, a, a different opinion. What Does he even know what he's saying? Did this guy ever look at the words he writes down to speak and say, oh, if I say that, I'll sound like a complete twat. Maybe he does and just doesn't care. I don't think he does, though, because that would involve the ability to read. And he certainly can't read a room. Uh, anyway, Mr Yousaf has said that the SNP might support a Labour government at Westminster in return for Indyref 2. That's right. And the moment they get Indyref 2, the Labour government then would be a minority government. And the Tories would then demand another election. And then the Tories would be back in power. So if you think Labour are going to give you independence, you've got another think coming moron. Anyway, getting back to it, uh, Miss Forbes was laughed at by the audience when confronted with her infamous quote about Mr Yousaf's record of failure in the transport, justice and health portfolios. She said there's no personal attacks in those comments, insisting it was about policy and in fact that she admired Mr Yousaf hugely. You can guarantee that the wonks, the policy wonks and the spads have been on there, the handlers have been on there trying to fix that mess between the pair of them because it's not looking good for the party. But in actual fact, uh, they don't like each other one little bit. Uh, Mr Youssef said he agreed with the audience sceptical reaction and stressed that he had not made personal attacks during the contest. See what I mean? Uh, he was trying to side with the audience. He was laughing at her for saying that uh, and then going, oh, well, I didn't make personal attacks, you know, but you did. Grow up, grow up, you child. Um, Mr Youssef and Ms Forbes also clashed over income tax. Uh, we won't go into any more detail on that. Uh, but it's, it's telling that in that thing, that they're talking about Youssef mainly uh, and a little bit about Forbes. Nobody is talking about Ash Regan anymore. Ash Regan is out of the picture. Nobody cares. She is done. Uh, and in fact, but the way it's going now, and as I say, um, people in the know, a person in the know, has informed me that Yousaf probably doesn't have the numbers. And so he is probably also gone, so it's likely to be Forbes. But it, when he stands there shouting at an audience and saying basically he doesn't want to even hear what they say because they're disagreeing with his viewpoint on gender, you know that's more votes disappearing every time he opens his mouth. And he's coming across increasingly stupid every time he opens his mouth. Anyway, enough of this. I'm going to round this little section off. I'll come up and we'll finish the video. 
So, as you can see, the man does not listen to opposing voices. He shouts down the audience. He sticks to a policy that is rejected by the vast, vast majority of people, not just in Scotland, but around the world. And he insists that if you disagree with him, you're hateful. He is never going to represent Scotland. He is too divisive. Uh, but when you alienate people with every time you open your mouth, it's amazing how you actually have a career in politics. Continuity SNP. It's a joke. But, you know, he thinks uh, he thinks he's still got a chance of winning it. And we'll find out on Monday. God, I hope not. Anyway, thanks very much for listening. If you like what you see and hear on the channel, please do hit that button right there. It's the subscribe button. That's what it's there for. Ring the bell for notification of future output as well. Leave a like. Very much leave a like because this is political. It just helps the, uh, the channel get out there. And uh, please share the video. Get as many faces watching this as possible. So until next time, stay safe. Stay well. Just... Don't believe anything Hamza says because he just lies. He can't help it. He's par he's psychological. He's, 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 every time he just don't don't don't. Uh, anyway, goodbye. <laughs>